G'day, ladies and gentlemen. Hello and welcome to Fallout 4. Welcome to the castle. Mm, any happiness, 96. I need more cats. Ah, uh, Kate. So, I've, uh, I've made it, air quotes, with Kate. Also made it with, uh, poor Piper. I know. I know. Okay, so, basically the premise of this one, if you want to try and get Kate in the, uh, proverbial sack, you want to get her happiness up. Now, if you get to a point where you do her special quest and you complete said quest, then taking drugs after that leads to... Kate dislikes that. As uh, I will show you right now. I think Psycho was her drug of choice. After everything you've watched me go through, why would you get yourself hooked on those cams? See? That's a bad... Prior to her particular quest, taking Psycho increases her happiness to you. And, uh, yeah, so... There's that. So, if you haven't done a personal quest, then yes, you can take Psycho and, I think, buff out and stuff like that. And she will go, yay! Uh, picking Locks. Picking Locks is also a good one for her. She doesn't like it when you do things for, uh, other people without actually getting a reward, so to speak. Because I did a quest where I found a, a brewing bot, and I, even though I sold it to the people, um, she disliked it. She's very much the out for her own. Hey. Hmm. But uh, you know. <coughs> Need something, lover. You know, you get to How a point. I'm closer to you than anyone else in me life. And it's. What more could anyone ask? It's it's so beautiful. And your thoughts? There's nowhere else I'd rather be than right here, at your side. So yes, obviously she idolizes me. me. Fine by me. Obviously she idolizes me. Now, the absolute easiest, 100%, completely, well, boring way to do it, but the easiest way to do it. Is first thing you want to do, is go get naked. Not even lying. I stole my crap in here. I've really got to do some more power armor upgrading and stuff. Oh, but also, that is a handsome little... Oh, that's right, I forgot I'm in workshop place, so holding down the middle mouse button opens that up. So yes. Um, you want to get her happiness up really quickly. As I said, the easiest way to do it is go to your apparel and get naked. Now we're going to go for a Commonwealth streak. So I'm going to quick save because that's what I do. I'm going to hit the map and we're going to go for a streak all the way up to Sanctuary. I don't have enough uh, soft shell myelic meat to bring in more cats. So, because just like, just, just overladen a place with cats, it makes people happy apparently. Apparently people are cat people. Meow. Meow, I say. Don't mind me. Just admiring the view. So yes, as you just saw, it said cat like that. And then when you turn around and you go all the way back to the castle. And I think there's a certain time frame involved because it takes a long time, a long in-game time to go from sanctuary to the castle and the castle to sanctuary. So you get a cat likes that every single time you do a round. So when we get here, it should say Cat likes that. Or well, Kate, sorry, not Cat. Yep. Where are your pants? <laughs> um, they're in my bag. You just jelly. So yes, so Kate liked that. So if you just do that over and over and over and over and over again, you'll increase her happiness. And yeah, if, if you're really that bored, if you just want to spend ages doing that, then you can easily get to the point where she gives you her personal quest and even up to the point where she idolizes you. So, um, I will, if you guys want to stop here, then stop here, but I'm going to show you what the whole final interaction between her is. And, uh, so yeah, you have like three seconds to, to leave. Okay. So now I'm going to load to where I saved. Where are we? Aha, this is the one.
And now you will see the final interaction. Of course, my um, my my speech, my persuasion, if you will, is more than high enough to defeat pretty much any speech-related option. Like even the red ones, I can defeat them. I don't think I've failed yet. Do you have a minute? I think we should talk. Okay, Kate. What's on your mind? mind? I've been thinking about this for a long time. Just try to bear with me. This isn't easy for me to say, and I want to get it right. Where do I begin? Did you know I spent three years fighting at the combat zone? Three years of getting beaten to hell by a bunch of losers and lunatics. After the matches were over, I'd spit out the blood, stitch me wounds, and do a couple of shots of Psycho to keep me going. I fucking hated it. I hated the crowds, I hated the other fighters, and I hated myself. I never understood why I put myself through all that. Until now. It was because I was alone. And I think deep down, I wanted to die. I wanted one of my opponents to crush the life out of me. The easy way out. You're not alone, Kate. Well, that's the past. You're not alone anymore. Then maybe you know what I'm trying to say to you. My life's been nothing but one huge failure after another. You've heard all my stories, and you know the prices I've paid. There were a few times when things got really bad, but I... I found myself staring down the barrel of my own shotgun. I don't know why I didn't pull the trigger. I guess I was praying that I could find a single decent scrap of humanity in this fucked up world. And then... What you did for me back there at Fog 95, it was like the answer to those prayers. That's the first time in me life I fully depended on someone else, and they didn't let me down. God damn it, I'm making a mess of this. You're not messing anything. You're doing fine. You're doing just fine. This I'm is a very touching to hold moment. It together. Maybe I should just get to the point. The longer we've been spending time together, the more I'm beginning to realize what you mean to me. And I'm not just talking about you watching me back or sharing a drink together. I mean more than that. Before we met, I'd never let me guard down around anyone. I didn't dare. But with you, I feel like I can let you in and see me for everything that I am. For better or for worse. Look, I can't go back to the way things were before we met. I won't. But what I need you to do is look me in the eyes and tell me you feel something too. Romance. Don't don't do stone. Don't do stone. You, you're what? You said you're in love with me. Oh I, yeah. I didn't know. I mean, I felt something between us, but I thought it was something else. Why? Why would you fall in love with someone as screwed up as I am? Because we both are. No, because. <laughs> We're both screwed up now. Because you're special to me. Because you're special to me, Kate. And I don't think I'd be happier with anyone else. You. You're Just really don't tell that. Piper. This has to be the first time I put all my cards on the table and didn't end up losing everything. You don't know how much this means to me. To have someone special in my life. I promise you. I mean to make the most of it. Oh, yeah. Having reached the highest level of affinity with Kate, you have gained the Trigger Rush perk. So yes, that's it. I know that the, the video was probably a lot longer than it should have been, but I wanted to show you guys that. So, um, yeah, I apologize for the lack of videos. If you've seen my OBS video, you'll know why, because I was having issues with the, the, the microphone doing mono and everything else and it was a whole big thing but now now the videos will continue so yes if you guys enjoyed this please feel free to leave a like um, leave a comment I will make sure I try and get back to all comments sometimes I can't but most of the time I will and uh, don't forget to subscribe all right thanks for watching and Kate enjoyed the show I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.